Right, so day one, I uh, walked up the valley, up the riverbed and uh, climbed up a ridge and we're now up on top of the ridge, just above the saddle. And uh, we got here, dropped the packs and went off for an evening hunt and uh, got onto a couple of stags but as soon as you got within 150 metres they sort of stopped roaring. So yeah, we came back to camp and got it all set up, ready to rough out some rough weather tomorrow morning and then uh, hopefully... Tomorrow morning we booze on down and up into some open country where we're going to go chase some stags, yeah. But we thought we'd have a look at these bush ones on the way past and yeah. Right, so we're just stalking in on some stags down below where we're going to camp tonight and uh, seen the first one and he was quite a good 10 pointer. Uh, probably close to 40 inches long I'd say, just real nice head and I was like, oh, I was tempted to shoot it and then didn't because I'm really after a 12, 13 or 14 on this trip and then we stalked in on the one that was roaring down below it and uh, we're stalking and then I just seen it pop out in the open and yeah, shot myself a beautiful big Nice 12. 12 pointer. Old oh boy. Yeah, and now we'll prop it up and do a proper video and all that, but yeah. Here's my stag. Um, took us a wee while to find him because he ran a wee bit further than what we expected, but um, pretty steep face. Yeah, it's pretty steep, and he managed to get a bit of ground on us just obviously with the steepness and not being overly mortally hit, he ran a wee way, but we got him, and uh, yeah, he's a beautiful dead even 12 pointer. Exactly what we came for, so. Yeah, we have to whip the head off and uh, the back stakes. Yeah, we will actually. Yeah, yeah. and that's the tea. So yeah, nice. bloody good. Bloody nice. And it's only day two of the trip, so I've set the benchmark yeah. high for Jerry. Long way to go, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, and I've just made my pack extremely heavy. But oh, well, I'm happy with that. Day three has came to an end and uh, seen quite a few deer today. You've probably already seen those and yeah, now we just set up camp and uh, got the stag head sitting there and we're about to have some tea and then climb into bed. Um, we're gonna give this valley one more glass on morning, see what it can see. All we've seen so far is a scattered of young and middle-aged stags, so give it another glass on morning and see if anything mature walks out and if not, 
tomorrow afternoon we'll climb up over the tops and drop into a new valley. <laughs> hopefully get onto some deer. Uh, we woke up bright and early and glassed all the faces around camp this morning and uh, haven't seen anything. So yeah, pack up stuff and nosy on up the valley for a day hunt. See you up there.
we made it back to camp after a pretty eventful evening and, and day for that matter. We've seen a lot of stags today and a lot of deer. Um, a couple there worth, well, weren't worth shooting but we're definitely getting close. That big eight pointer this afternoon up the gut and then spotted another big nine pointer this evening. And then on last light tonight, on a clearing just down below us, uh, I spotted a big stag walk out. It was last light and the footage I've got, you can't see bugger all, but Jerry reckons he's seen massive antlers, so yeah, pretty good. We're probably going to go down and have another look at that big one we've seen on last light tomorrow morning. And uh, there's a couple roaring up above him too that we might have a look at, so yeah, plenty of food, food for thought there. Oh well, see you in the morning. Oh well, it's the morning of day six and uh, woke up probably a wee bit too early. It was a bit dark to see anything and um, spooked a stag probably only about 150 metres from the tent. And then we climbed up on the knob behind the tent and uh, spotted a 10 point stag out there with a broken leg. Uh, Jerry reckons it wasn't quite big enough but yeah. Let him go, and then spotted a hind up on the face just above camp. And Jerry's just informed me he spotted a monster stag, so I better go and have a look at it. As you can see, there's a bit of a theme of this trip of ending up back at camp in the dark, but we've seen that big stag on last light and um, tried to boost it over to get a shot, but it just run out of light. And in the meantime, we're running from about 500 metres away from him to we got within about 300. I've lost my binos, so we've now got two missions tomorrow, find my binos and then find that big stag again so Jerry can get a chance at him. Yeah. Not to mention we've got a shit camp. Yeah, we're stuck on the knob that we got to to try and shoot at him. Uh, there's not enough room to pitch the tent so we're just going to rough it tonight and uh, just sleep in the grass I suppose. <laughs> yeah, bloody good. What a way to finish the rough day. Uh, well, better have some tea and get a pretty restless sleep I'd say.
so it's morning of day seven and um, woke up to two stags roaring one just over the snow behind me here and then one up way up on that face up behind me and I uh, spotted the first one which was the one up on the face he was a nice 11 pointer just a young stag so hopefully he can survive the rest of the roar because uh, in a few years he could be something special and then spotted the second one was just a massive spiker I think couldn't see any points and yeah those were the two roaring no sign of Jerry's big boy that we missed out on last night so plan for today is head over to the saddle and uh, find him because he looked pretty good Oh well, better get to it. Low. Aim at the backbone, aim at the backbone. Yeah, hat. Where's the ticket? He's, he's going down. Where's the ticket? Grab the ticket. Where is the ticket? No, he's going down. He's. Oh, yeah, heaven. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. Oh well, as you would have just seen, Jerry's got what looks to be the 13 pointer. I'm pretty sure I counted 13 yeah, before Jerry took sure the shot. He had that many points, but but it's the same one as last night. He just we were actually relocating to the saddle where we seen him, and he just popped up in front of us. We had to run about 100 meters and uh, 350 meters, and Jerry smoked him. The first couple of shots we done over, Jerry didn't have the just, greatest just arrest, him, but, yeah, not a but good then arrest. the third shot straight through the heart, and he's mm. sacked it down over there. So yeah. Oh, he looks like a really good stag. You'll probably see all that, so better get over there. Oh, well, we made it over to Jerry's stag, and um, yeah, my prediction last off last night's footage was right, and he's a beautiful 13-pointer. Um, you could count him as a 14. There's a wee nub that comes up here, but yeah, beautiful got it good. <laughs> beautiful head. Classic, massive big lowers, three on this top and four on that top. It's just got a wee nub coming off its back time. But yeah, massive coronets and massive scale. Well worth letting all them other stairs go. Yeah, this is what happens when you let a big nine pointer go that I try talking you into. All the, like, the tens and <laughs> eights and sixes and yeah. whatever else we've seen, 11 up there this morning. It yeah. all pays off in the end. Yep, definitely. And uh, Jerry's pack's just got very heavy. Yeah, we might change their plans from where we're heading out. Yeah. <laughs> Shorten the beat a wee bit, maybe. Yeah. Ah, oh, well, we better deal to it and uh, nosey on with the day. Right, so after shooting Jerry Stag, we've made the decision instead of going dropping down into this valley, hunting up it, and then walking down a riverbed out that side, we're going to walk out through a riverbed closer. Um, so, probably not a chance of getting onto stags. We were going to go that way to get onto more animals, but we don't need to now. We've shot a head each, so. A nice walk down the closest riverbed and back to the track. Yeah, so end of a trip unless we see any more animals walking out, but I don't think we will. It's middle of the day, stinking hot. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that one. That's probably one of the best hunts I've ever been on. And yeah, still more to come this raw, so stay tuned.